Today's lecture, we will be looking at the main points of vitamin A, also known as retinol. Now, vitamin A is essential for the differentiation of epithelial cells into specialized tissue. It prevents squamous metaplasia. It is an antioxidant predominantly found in liver and leafy green veggies. It's an important component for visual pigments can be used to treat measles and acute myelogenous leukemia, or AML, and it can be used for wrinkles and acne topically. So, looking at whether or not we can have a deficiency or an excess of vitamin A, we have pathology associated with both. So with a deficiency, we can end up with nyctalapia, which is also known as night blindness, keratomalacia, or corneal degeneration, xerosis cutis, or dry skin, immunosuppression, and bitol spots on the conjunctiva. And these are buildups of keratin on the conjunctiva, normally in either triangular or abnormal patterns, and we can end up um, pretty obviously on the eyeball. Now looking at an excess of vitamin A, if there's an acute toxicity that we would end up with nausea, vomiting, vertigo, blurred vision, obviously with blurred vision and night blindness, we can see that vitamin A has a lot to do with our vision. Retinol, you can think retina. So blurred vision with acute toxicity. Now, in chronic toxicity, along with these, we would have alopecia, or hair loss, dry skin, hepatic toxicity, hepatomegaly, arthralgia, and this is also teratogenic. So, if um, you have a pregnancy, then this can cause some cardiac problems as well as a cleft palate for the baby because of the fact that a vitamin A excess is a teratogen, a pregnancy test and contraceptives are necessary before isotretinoin can be prescribed to a patient for severe acne. So isotretinoin is a vitamin A derivative. Again, it can be used for wrinkles and acne on the skin. So before this is prescribed to you to treat the acne, you must be uh, test negative for pregnancy as well as maintain contraceptive use if a person has the possibility of becoming pregnant during their isotretinoin use. And these are the basics of vitamin A.